Hi there, this is Fixed It. If you're hoping and planning to get a new iPhone at Christmas and you also have an iWatch, then you must unpair the two devices before you get rid of your old phone. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of trouble. The problem is that for security purposes, modern Bluetooth devices only pair with one other piece of technology at a time. And if you fail to unpair with the one it's paired to, you will not be able to pair it with a new one. Put simply, if you don't unpair your watch with your old phone, you will not be able to pair it with your new one. And you're going to get really angry when you follow the instructions to pair the watch and the phone and they don't work and you get no indication from the phone or the watch as to why it's not working. To unpair your iWatch from your iPhone, click on the watch icon on the iPhone desktop. This will bring up the watch control panel and click on my watch in the bottom left hand corner so it's orange. Now click on the all watches at the top of the screen which is to the left hand side of the watch's name. This will take you to the pairing control panel where you'll see which watch is paired with this phone. Now click on unpair Apple watch and do that for any watches that are in there if you're getting rid of the phone. You'll then, pre you'll then be presented with a warning that you definitely want to unpair the watch and it will tell you also that that you'll need to pair the watch with another device if you want to use it in the future. Apple watches must be paired in order to be used. To ensure that the watch and the phone are yours, it will ask for your Apple ID password. Once you type it in correctly, it will begin unpairing and you'll get this warning on the screen. Shortly afterwards, your Apple watch will go blank, just showing the white apple. It will continue to do this while it is resetting itself. You'll see a ticking dial around the outside of the watch. This process this takes quite a long time so don't rush it. Once it's completed your iWatch is ready to be paired with a new iPhone. So if you know anybody who's upgrading their iPhone and has an iWatch or if you're planning to do it yourself I can't emphasize strongly enough you must unpair the iWatch with the iPhone before you get rid of it. If you don't you'll have a lot of hassle and although Apple gives some instructions on how to hardware reset an iWatch I've never been able to get the iWatch to do it easily. In part two I'll be showing you the pairing instructions. I hope you liked the video please subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching bye.